Isn't this a great day in North Carolina? A great day for Ashley Furniture and the state of North Carolina. And at this time, it gives me a great deal of pleasure to introduce our CEO and President, Todd Wannick. So we're excited to be here in advance, and we're excited to be reinvesting in the United States. This is our fifth major distribution. This is our fifth major distribution and manufacturing center in the United States, which we call Super Plants, and one of 13 total production facilities that we have around the world. We're very, very proud to be here. The advanced expansion is part of an $80 million investment. Over the next five years, we expect to have over 550 workers at this location producing and distributing high quality home furnishings to our customers. Isn't that great? This advanced facility will be a world-class manufacturing and distribution facility that will service our customers in the southeast region of the United States and will also be a major export hub for international markets. This facility will help us meet our goal to improve our level of service to our customers by delivering to the market with speed and with low cost. We are, as Ashley Furniture, committed to our company and to growing our company. This expansion is fundamental to what we believe in and to our commitment to continually reinvest back into our company. It also speaks to our commitment to provide opportunities for all of our customers and to our 22,000 employees around the world. We are very excited to be in advanced North Carolina and appreciate the efforts of everyone involved in making this expansion happen. At this time, I am honored to introduce a very, very special guest, the Governor of the State of North Carolina, Governor McCory. Stand up for Catawba College graduate. I'll take it. I got a picture of it. In my, uh, I've got all these notes my staff wrote me, but they know I never go with them. So uh, I'm speaking off the cuff, Ron. In my uh, second week in office, my staff came into my office, my brand new office, my old state captain, William Raleigh, and said, uh, Mr. Governor, we've got a customer from Wisconsin. It's flying down to see you right now. <laughs> I said, who's this customer? They said, well, it's the founder and chairman of Ashley Furniture. And I don't think he's real happy right now. Because <laughs> he's having to fly down and see you. Do you have time? And I said, I got time. <laughs> so uh, very, within a day or two, I met with your dad. His dad came in with his lawyer. He said, uh, he said, I love being at the governor's office. That governor, your state, along with our great Keith Grisco, who was Commerce Secretary at the time, and Dan Gerlach, and Golden League Foundation, and everyone did a good job in recruiting National Furniture to come to this great facility that used to be run by RJR. And we're very pleased with the facility. But Mr. Governor, you got a problem. I said, what's the problem? He said, well, we've been waiting a long, long time for our permits. And if it goes another week or two, we're going to have to ask for a new JD. Because we haven't had time to use the existing JD that uh, others made a deal with. He 
He said, can you fix it? And I immediately turned to my new dean or secretary, John Scavaro, got him on the phone, and I said, I got a guy who could do it because I just hired him about four days ago. <laughs> This guy promised me first-class customer service, and we had two goals. One is to increase jobs in North Carolina, and the other goal was to increase the culture of customer service in North Carolina. And he came right down the street, and within 15, 20 minutes, if I recall, I had the chairman and his lawyer and other people who knew the details of wetlands and other issues right over here go to another office, and I think within weeks, the problem was solved. And now we're here because of a team effort. And I just want to let your entire family know that uh, we love having this new Wisconsin blood right here. <laughs> Wisconsin are the, so they've got a southern hospitality in Wisconsin. But if you don't treat them well, they're going to call you on it. And because they want good customer service. And what's so great about this company is, first of all, it's a high quality company. It's a great product and it's a great logistics. It's a great, this guy started this company in a building smaller than this tent. And that building still exists in Wisconsin. And look at what he's expanded it to. And his family and his team, his team of talent have expanded it to. And now North Carolina is going to be a major part of that expansion. And a major part of at least 500 new jobs being created. And I just want to let you know, we're going to work with you now and in the future so it's even more than that. Because we want to continue to grow and prosper and make money and hire new employees and hire the great skilled workers that we have in this region. And I'll tell you right now, Ron just took me for a, uh, I thought it was a go-kart we were in, but it was a golf cart. And he knows this piece of property, he could almost put a blind pole on But we went through every dirt path, showing the old RJR buildings, and we've got some great RJR representatives, and he was showing, look at this piece of property, the infrastructure the talent of workforce in this area, the quality of people in this community. And now we're working with you and making sure we can continue to expand this area. We want this to be a long-lasting, great relationship right here in North Carolina because the connection between Wisconsin and North Carolina can-do spirit, southern hospitality spirit is a great connection. And I just want to let you know that we're here to work with you. We want you to be successful. I even want your lawyer to be successful. Right? That's true. This guy is tough. <laughs> I'm thinking about that. And I just want to say, on behalf of the state of North Carolina, on behalf of our new Commerce Secretary, our old Commerce Secretary, and especially John Scavall, our Dean of Secretary, who made it happen. He did all the work. He brought us team. I also want to recognize Sharon Decker, our new Commerce Secretary. I want both the new and old Commerce Secretary to stand up. Great partners. But more than anything else, I want John Scavala to stand up because he's the one who did the tough work. John Scavala, please stand up. Display it proudly in your main office, both uh, in Wisconsin, and later on I'm going to give you a state flag here too. Oh, so but uh, we want you to display that proudly and uh, just remember the Southern hospitality of here in North Carolina. God bless you. Thank you. Bye.